Welcome to External Star Channel. My name is Marek, as you already know, and today that's the Christmas edition or episode of External Star Channel Diecast Unboxing. And today I have the privilege of opening this Cadillac, which just came as a present gift from China. And believe it or not, it's one of the greatest cars that I will have in my collection. It's a black one meaning I love it already and now I will do gentle unboxing as usual. So right now let me start right here with this box. It's a nice white box which has obviously no flaws. It's brand new and oh it's quite difficult to open it and now, now I know why there is a, such a such a piece here which needs to be removed first and look at that brand new Escala so you don't see Cadillac anywhere yeah only here on the top but then if you go here inside it only says Escala 1 to 18 car model and a lot of Chinese things and I have no idea what that means but I don't care too much let's take it out all right all right so that's another nice box inside and I will now be very careful to open this one. All right, so let me first cut it here and then maybe also cut it on the other side to be absolutely sure that we have everything ready for, for unboxing, okay? So that should be enough. So one more time, is there anything else on this box that should be mentioned before I really unbox it? There's nothing on the bottom. It's really plain white box with no, no details on it. You don't know who is the manufacturer. You don't know anything. You just know that something great is hidden inside. Okay. A lot of bags, plastic bags filled with air to protect the car. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, I don't know how many. Great, and then we see this. Yeah, so you don't see the model immediately. You just need to take some time and maybe gently take it out. Wow, okay, so the car is here. And we, don't have, we have some manual here, which is great. Usually I don't get anything like that. So look at that, what we have here. Okay, so there is some really how to, how to do that. So as you can see here, there's some kind of key. We need to use the key to, to open the rear of the car, the fifth door. Then there is also some uh, screwdriver or whatever it is to, to take it out somehow okay so that's one one piece oh sorry something fell down then we have this here i have no idea what it means 2019-09-00 so maybe first of november september sorry first of september this one was produced maybe i don't know and then we have this Cadillac something, yeah, with a QR code and um, Cadillac.com CN, that's the website probably, okay. And here you see that there is a nice picture of this Cadillac Escala and inside, it's a nice brochure actually, and it's all in Chinese, I have no idea what it means, but it's nice, yeah, for you who speak English, or who can read, in, uh, so not English, Chinese, apologies, if you can read Chinese, then there is something for you as an extra gift, but this is not for me, so let me just again close this box, put it aside and finally focus on this one wow okay so you can see a lot of tablets here a lot of tape here wow that's quite unusual and if you see the christmas trees just behind that's the christmas decoration i have here dear guys okay so here let me just take off all right, you see, it just, I don't know, it's the way how to remove it. It's like, you know, it's not unboxing a die cast. It's like 
having a pair of socks. So I'm just... Is it really a pair of socks? I, ho I hope not. I hope there will be a nice car inside. And I don't know if I should keep really all the towels to keep the original content of the box if I decide to sell it one day or if the new buyer will be also satisfied without those uh, without those blue towels or whatever they are. Okay, so now let me maybe maybe I will need to really cut it here. Okay, so let me or tear it because I don't have scissors right now. So here we go. I can already see a piece. All right, look at that. Look at that. That's really amazing. Amazing how shiny it is. It's so black and shiny. I love it. Love at first sight. This is what I call a love at first sight. Wow, the, the sunroof, it's so amazing. Look at that. It's so big, huge, amazing. So transparent and nice. Wow. I think this model is already, it already really um, took my attention a lot. Let me just remove all those pieces here. I don't like it. Towels everywhere. I don't know, pieces. Okay, now, only the model, only the model. We have it here. I think it's awesome, isn't it? This awesome model, okay. I now need to use some tool to maybe... Let me see what kind of screws we have. Oh, here is the tool that they advertised in this brochure. It's here and I will immediately use it because I need to take it out of the, uh, the surface. And look at that, look at what we have. So it's quite useful because we have also a small, I, I would call it a screwdriver, even if this is not really a screwdriver, it's just, I don't know the English word for that. <sighs> I'm now really tearing everything for the sake of time. I hope I will not break anything here during this violent unboxing. <laughs> oh yeah. I also need this piece, okay. Huh. Look at that. This is very interesting because here you can see that it has the Cadillac logo on it. So this is for opening the small parts and I like it because this Cadillac logo, logo is so unique. And now maybe what I will do now is I will use this, this piece here to uh, remove the screws and then I will use the other piece to open uh, all the doors, etc. and show you uh, the interior of this car, okay? So it should be quite fast with this one. I don't expect any delays here because it's, yeah, it goes quite fast. And those screws are actually very long. Oh, I'm sorry for that, guys. My old, old hands are shaky a little bit. Or maybe because I want to do it really fast and that could be the reason. Not really because I would be an old man. Okay. Third one. Almost out. <laughs> now, by the way, when I see the huge wheels, <laughs> this is something amazing. And the last one, then we will start the review. Okay. So maybe I will keep this one. Yeah, it's uh, it's quite nice because it's shiny. Uh, now it's not really polished, but when, when you really uh, use some towel, which was there, you can make it shiny. There is a Cadillac logo here and also this Escala sign. Okay, so. Now, again, put it aside, not interesting anymore. What we really care about is this car right here. It's this beautiful Cadillac and 
I want to remove the stickers first, one by one, with this plastic tool. So this time you, you see that I'm not using the, the dental tool as usually, because you were always complaining about my approach. And this time I am quite gentle, yeah, because I don't want to break anything. So, so far it looks like in perfect shape, so there is no, nothing broken, there are no really, no mistakes or uh, nothing caused by the transport or shipping of this item, so, which is great because sometimes the side mirrors are broken, sometimes the wheels are broken, but here it looks like everything is in perfect shape and this is what I already admire. And this is also why this car will maybe get a high score at the end of this video. All right, two more, two more stickers, and we'll check, we'll check the car inside out, part by part. All right, so now that's fully un unboxed. This is now ready for the review. So let me start directly in front of the car, all right, so as you can see, this is a wide, very wide car. It's actually a concept, it's not a real car. And you can see here the Cadillac logo. Maybe let me just zoom in again. Yeah, it's very nice, but interesting is that there is no color, it's only chrome. And usually there are some blue and red color in this Cadillac logo, but nothing here, it's plain one color. And then we have the front grille, which is unfortunately not perforated, but it's quite detailed with all the dots. And then we have the very, uh, like those front lights or headlines, headlamps are really like one small line. Yeah, it's very interesting piece of design. And then we have another probably daylights here, nice chrome part here. Yeah, I like the trims and then we have also here some air intakes, but it's again not perforated. Ah, the wheel, my favorite part on this car, yeah, so look at that. You can uh, spin them, you can see the brake caliper inside the Cadillac logo, okay. And it's not really, you see you can do that, maybe because you can turn it easily. And there's also brake caliper with the Cadillac logo or Cadillac sign. Then we have another nice shape here, resulting here in a big part. So we have the doors, the side mirrors. Side mirrors are quite yeah, quite big on this one. And you can see all, all the chrome parts here. Hmm. I'm just now maybe a little bit disappointed here because there's a small gap here. You can you see it. It's like one millimeter gap. You, I can even push this inside, <laughs> which I should not, yeah, because there should be no gap. Maybe let me check on the other side if there is also a similar gap. No, it's not. Here, it's like it's supposed to be, so no gap, absolutely perfect, precise. Maybe the gap is here then, yeah? So I can see the gap here. On the other side, you can see that there is this gap here Oh, such a disappointment. And then almost zero gap here. So obviously they were not able to do it like without any gap. So it's either here in the back or here in the middle. And so the B, is it this, this is the A or B column. Now I'm not sure, probably this is the A column here, the B column. Okay, what can we do? Probably nothing. Okay, I will open it later. Then the rear wheel quite magnificent, yeah, also very nice. I like how many different colors. So here is the chrome, then here is a little bit black or dark, and all together it's very nice. The feeling is also good, it's like real rubber, yeah. Okay, and in the back, also very nice. So let me a little bit zoom out now. It's actually very wide, it's a very wide car, and those lights here, this is also some kind of uh, design masterpiece. I have never seen anything like that. Can you see how far it's going? Like, it's not ending anywhere here. It's going almost here. And this is really, really long light. 
We have also a nice logo here, the same as in the front. And we have the Cadillac Escala license plate. Yeah? So in the front, there is no license plate and no space for a license plate. Okay, so that's also the difference. Then here, there is something inside. I will remove it later. Yeah? Maybe another part of uh, styrofoam. And as I already showed you, there is a massive, huge sunroof. Absolutely incredible. What I'm a little bit missing here uh, are the front uh, on a on a windshield. I'm missing the uh, wipers. Yeah. So where is that? Where is that? I don't see it. Is it some kind of mistake? Have they forgotten? So let me check also some pictures online if it's there or not. <laughs> From this angle, it's very interesting because you can see here some scratches or what? What is that? Is it some dirt? Yeah, so only from particular angle. So for example, now you can see it here. And now you can see that, okay. So later I will try to clean that or polish that. But now, um, I think it's only time to open, open the car. And this is also very am amazing. I like this part so much, opening and reviewing. Okay, so I'm not sure if we can open uh, here, no, actually, it is not possible to open the engine, the hood, so we don't see the engine. And maybe I should check back uh, the manual if, if they mention that this is not possible. So let me <laughs> start in the back, yeah, because uh, I want to open already something. So there is no button here beneath, and this is why we have this tool. Oh gosh. And now, okay, so dear Cadillac, wow, <laughs> look at this. So I will just take this out, but look at this mechanism here. So when I actually try to open or close it, it's lifting the hole inside up, which is absolutely great. I have never seen that on any of my cars or any real cars. There are two stripes to hold the luggage. But isn't it great? Like, look at that. Now it's going down. But to be really... Wow. Now it's going up. <laughs> That's great. Thank you, Cadillac, for this innovation. I hope you will use it in some of the real cars. It's really great because then you don't, ha you don't really need to bend down for the luggage. You just pick it up here. Wow, great. And now, of course, you can also open all the doors. Since there is no handle, yeah, I cannot really touch it somehow. I will use this tool to do something else. I will open it like that. Okay, I don't know where to push it. Yeah, maybe here. Yeah, that's a good idea. So I will open it. All of them, actually. Wow, look at that. I also haven't seen that. So there is no column here which is amazing i have never seen that it's holding only here on this part but there is nothing in the in between so that's also so unique i have never seen that honestly that's something new for me and i i like it so this model definitely it was worth the uh, how much i paid actually 150 150 us dollars so that's the price i paid and i don't regret at all it's real really great and there are some auto art models which i don't like so much and are more expensive so yeah this is really great and i don't want to break it so really gently so the car is now fully open and it's awesome 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 let me check the interior now the door, the interior of the door. So there is this white leather. Then there is this uh, wood imitation and also the door handles in silver. Look at that, also the, all in the front. Then the seats with the seat belts and the chrome part uh, with the uh, seat controls, yeah? Same here, you can see also the screens, very nice uh, LCD screens uh, in the back of the seats. And there is also in the middle, there is some 
some extra screen and there's also a lot of wood yeah so let me also check from the other side so that you can see the steering wheel and stuff like that so here in the back amazing amazing details i really like it i only don't know what is this here can you see that maybe let me zoom in so there is a piece of something yeah like here why is it there it's completely useless i don't see any reason for that how can i don't know i don't know why it's there it's maybe it shouldn't be there huh maybe i can remove it maybe i don't know maybe somebody can explain why the hell is there this thing in between yeah so i cannot really um put my my shoes there or my anything there because it's i don't know it's really hmm. somebody please explain it to me okay now in the front in the front i can see again the steering wheel which is absolutely perfect amazing and i will zoom in now a little bit to show you the steering wheel you can see also the lcd display or the gouges and clusters it's all digital and there is no analog clock or anything. Yeah, it's all on one screen with all the details, <clears throat> with the speed. And then in the middle, we can see the the wheel for controlling everything. And also on the steering wheel, you can see it's connected to the wheel. So when I turn the wheels, it's turning the steering wheel. And you can also see the pedals there. Wow, absolutely amazing. This model, when I show you it like here, this is absolutely amazing yeah amazing guys and what i will do now is i will take my uh diorama uh cobblestone road and show you uh the car on the cobblestone road okay so i will just put this aside okay so just to be a little bit more realistic here uh, and to use this road which I created, uh, maybe let me just put it here uh, and take some pictures. This is what I will do now yeah, because I love it so much. And I will also use some of those pictures for my uh, thumbnail for this video. So you really see how great it is. And I love this model so much. Wow, look at that. It's so, so realistic now. You maybe find some great angle where I can display it. Yeah, like like here. Really, really, really great. Look at that car. It's so amazing. And actually, I will use those small trees, which you can see there later, and I will place them right here on this grass. So it will be then like there, like this, but video without uh, this blue thing here. Yeah, so not blue without this plastic plastic bin i will just use the trees which i bought and it will be even better this diorama okay and i forgot to mention that there is also this luggage included i found it later when i was uh putting it back to the box that there is this luggage three pieces look at that uh, three different pieces or different sizes and here you see how great it is when you close it and open it so this is really really amazing yeah? and then i also realized one, another thing that i forget to to mention is the suspension look at that the suspension is working in the back and the suspension is also somehow working in the front but here it stays in the lower position so when i press it yeah it also goes up so it's actually working okay so this is the cadillac escala i hope you enjoyed my video thank you for watching guys and now only time for the final rating so thank you and bye bye